Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Well, this is Snipering 101 really for me and uh, this is a new demo I'm trying out and uh, it's basically Sniper V1. It's one of the more, well, kind of think before you shoot games, you know, it's very tactical. It looks amazing as you can see by the pictures. It, the only problem I had was around about this kind of area. I could see what I was doing, and up to there, I could just see that guy. The first shot is, well, I winged him and got him real good there. <laughs> Fantastic. That's pretty unique, very Mortal Kombat. But basically, what I found the problem was, as soon as I moved down, again, not knowing what the hell I was doing, I noticed there were several enemies. The only problem was, I couldn't exactly see them really clearly on my uh, computer screen. They were just kind of slightly blurry. I just couldn't pick them out, and I was shooting blindly, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty shit. But, you know, you got to try these new games out and see what you think of them. Um, I'm going to shut up now and let you watch a little bit more of the gameplay, and just let me know, is this a game worth buying? Would you buy it? I, I think, from what I've seen so far, it it's definitely worth buying. The multiplayer only features two modes, and they're both co-op modes. Which is a bit disappointing because the PC version will be getting full multiplayer with deathmatch, etc., etc., which is a bit of a shame. We could have done with that. Maybe it's a DLC later on. It, maybe just trying to judge how popular this game gets. And uh, it, as I was telling you, there are four or five, and there's one in the window. Uh, all, all these Germans, I, I just can't hit them for shit, you know? I just can't see them. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. I know, I know I'm going to get killed sooner or later, but. I'm just trying to give you an idea what the game looks like. Uh, I did play a little bit uh, more after this. But, well, you know, Battlefield 3 called. <laughs> this game is really, really worth your money. I definitely get it. Um, I, again, you really got to know what you're doing in this game. And obviously, as you can tell from what I'm doing here, I haven't got a bloody clue. don't even know what I'm doing. But, yeah, definitely, definitely get it. It looks beautiful. I tried it out on full screen on my TV before and I was just blown away by it. It looks really, really good. Definitely up there with Battlefield 3 in terms of look and feel, you know. And there's a lot of brains to this game. I, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the standout games I've seen this year so far. And, uh, well, again, leave your comments, let me know. I won't be following this up with any more gameplay because my gameplay in this game is absolutely awful. So I'll catch you guys later. See ya.